What's up, Basil Babes? Good morning, good morning, good morning. How you doing? <sighs> um, I received a few messages, people checking on us. I know I haven't uploaded in a minute. Um, we are fine right now. The storm is expected. It's Wednesday morning. The storm is expected to come in this evening. So, we are, I'm going to get some ice later tonight and put it in a cooler and get some hot dogs um just some just we don't really need food i'm not expecting i don't know what to expect i wasn't expecting harvey either and it turned my life upside down so they said that the storm would be similar to harvey but not as bad but harvey that turned my life upside down for, for various reasons so i'm up early because I got home last night after school and I was tired and you know just from working and then I had to pick up Bobby from work and I wanted to cook I just I just didn't feel like it and sometimes I feel like the kids been home all day just but they're loaded with school work and stuff as well but I'm like dang I gotta work all day then come home and cook Oh, excuse me so I'm just like dang it and um so that's a little annoying <laughs> so I didn't cook so Bobby and I we got pizza um little seasons cheap and it wasn't the best pizza or it just wasn't that good and I get nervous when I see a lot of young boys working um at little seasons with no adult that makes me nervous because they do silly stuff. And I, I don't really like to see that. But anyway, I was eating a pizza. And I was like, this pizza not that good. And I kept, and I love garlic on my pizza. And you know, I like everything with flavor. Flavor, lots of flavor. And I kept putting garlic on the pizza. I was like, dang, this garlic is weak. And I kept putting more, and it's good garlic too. And I kept putting more garlic. I was like, hold up. I'm not tasting this garlic. And Bobby looked at me, I was like, yeah, I can't taste the garlic. So, I tried a few other things. And it's like, I can smell, but I just couldn't taste the flavors. So anyway, just as a precaution, it could be my friend um, told me that it could be allergies and I, I I do have allergies in my ears. That's what the doctor said is allergies. So just as a precaution because you know I'll, I'll be surrounded by kids and I've been back to school, I'm just going to get tested and I think it's kind of pricey. <laughs> but it, I feel as though it's my responsibility to go get tested. So I'm heading to a testing center right now um, to get tested and if it does come back positive, I'll have to let my school know. And then I'm quarantined for 14 days. I don't have any other symptoms. I did have, well, I took, I call all like painkillers aspirin. So I don't know, I just call them aspirin. And I, I did have a um, lingering headache, but I don't know. I was like, it could have been a new vitamin. I don't know. So I've had the lingering headache and I don't get headaches. Um, no diarrhea, no breathing problems, no nothing. So maybe it is allergies, but I can still smell. So I'm just going to go see. I'd rather, you know, protect all the kids that I'm around. Um, and like, oh, it's just allergy and brush it off. So I'd rather know than not know. You know, no matter the cost because, you know, the kids are important. And my own kids as well. So, that's where I'm headed to get tested. I will let you guys know. I hope it's well. But I, I physically, my body and stuff, I physically, I do feel fine. I ain't feel like popping on no eyelashes. I wasn't doing any of that. Okay. I just didn't want to. And um, so, school is canceled for the next two days. 
so I'm hoping it's nothing, but I didn't notice when I ate my lunch at school yesterday, maybe because I rushed my lunch, I didn't notice, but I think everything had flavor at school. So I don't know, maybe I'm just bugging out. But I ate some Doritos and I couldn't taste the Doritos. Now you know Doritos is packed with flavor. Lots of flavor in the Doritos, okay? So I was like, ugh. So I'll let you know when I'm done. But, well, I just got here. It looks like it's an urgent care. I don't think you stay in your car. I'm not sure. I have eight minutes. My appointment is at 10. I don't know the process. So I'm just waiting. But I totally feel fine. Fine, fine, fine. But, just wanna make sure, wanna make sure. So, I don't know, cause I've seen some places and videos where you don't get out of your car but I don't this place is kind of small I don't know how I would do that I don't know if I should go in now I don't know they have a little setup outside but there's no one there okay Ooh. And I hear it's quite uncomfortable, but I got this. I got this. I'm hoping that it's just allergies. Because I don't want to miss 14 days of work. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Maybe I can still figure out a way how to teach online from my classroom, they just have to set me up. That's what they can do. We can figure it out. But I don't wanna use my days. So, we're gonna see. I don't know, guys. Maybe I should call. Let me find out. <laughs> And they already sent the um, text saying that there were no delays. Hello, your visit at 10 is nearing. Please message us with any questions you may have prior to your visit. You got this, Joy. You're doing it for the kids. You're doing it for the kids. still have some Allegra at home from Connie Zhao. And let me tell you, I don't be taking my mask off, bro. We did go to Dallas for basketball. I never took my mask off and I washed my hands Constantly, I saw somebody just walk out. Let me go in. I'll let you guys know when I'm. Okay guys, I'm sleepy. I think I was worried all night, maybe. I don't know, I don't know. But um, I just finished. The test is, it wasn't that bad. And plus, I took an anxiety pill before I left. So when she went into my nose with the thing, I just relaxed. I, re I It's like I just went into relax mode. I closed my eyes and I just let her do and I took my deep breath and it wasn't that bad it had like a small burning sensation but it wasn't really bad it wasn't like horrible like I've heard people say maybe it's just different for different people and maybe the anxiety pill <laughs> kind of helped me out a little 
but it wasn't it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be um it wasn't painful it's just a little uncomfortable and a little burn um some people describe it as like if you're in a pool and you get water in your nose but it wasn't too bad um no coughing no gagging none, none of that so and it could have been an anxiety pill and um so I had to wait 20 minutes for the results and the results came back negative and she says just keep an eye on it so what I'm going to do I'm going to take an allergy pill when I get home because like I said I can still smell but I just want to make sure you know for the babies um and so I got all my paperwork and it does say negative and then she checked my ears I was like my ears always itch um you know it they run and she was like you need to see ENT so I'm like something else but I really do because they've been bothering me for years and and they itch and another doctor said it's properly allergies so when I get home I'm gonna take an allergy pill just to see if that helps and then I need um a cream a hydrocortisone cream she said because you know I've mentioned how my ears always bother me so I'm glad that that's negative. Sydney was freaking out. She was like, I'm gonna have to get tested. I'm not gonna be able to be around my friends. Gonna, you gotta go, mom. And you have to go. Cause then if you're positive, then I have to go. <laughs> she was freaking out more than I was freaking out. But mine was more so for my students. And of course the kids at home, but you know, those are my kids and I don't wanna put other people's kids at risk. So this is um, a relief and my insurance um, did pay for it. So I didn't have to pay anything. I think they had something in my insurance where all COVID tests um, will be free. So I was pretty happy about that because I was a little concerned because I know a few people who have gone here that had to pay $100 per test and one family paid like $400 because they all got tested. But um, I'm thankful for that. So thank you for coming along with me on this journey. Now I'm gonna try to go to the grocery store to see if we can get some water. We really don't need food. I don't think it's going to be that bad. That's what I think. <coughs> Forest food, excuse me. Forest food, I mean like, we have so many noodles at the house and we have stuff and if we have to cook, we, we have the little mini grill, so it's not that bad. And if we gotta do it in the garage, you gotta do it in the garage and just, you know, crack the garage a little. And I'm gonna try to fit the car in the garage today and move everything off the front porch before it comes down. So there's a lot that I need to do prepare. And then after that, I want to, I gotta um, do a lot of grades, so. If I could get everything graded today, even if it takes me till tonight, that would be awesome. Because then the next day I could email parents and like, uh, your child has not done one assignment. And so that will be my day so I could catch up and not feel so overwhelmed. So that's it. I'm just glad it was negative. Yay. All right, guys. I love you. I miss you. And I will catch you later.